Diplomatic gifts, something that we don't talk about very often on The Fowler Show, but I learned some interesting facts about. So topping off, the Obama family's diplomatic gifts was a jewelry gift from the Queen of Brunei. Members of the Obama administration received thousands of dollars in gifts from foreign leaders, but First Lady Michelle Obama appears to have taken the cake with a $71,000 jewelry gift from the Queen of Brunei. Now, this was received by uh, Miss Obama in 2013. It was a flower-shaped white gold earrings, ring, and necklace step. But President Obama might feel a little bad because that's seven times more than his most expensive gift that he has gotten, which was an amber-colored sculpture of a falcon on a branch which was given to him worth 10 grand by Qatar's ambassador to the U.S. Not that he's doing bad, though, don't get me wrong. He's also received a large Azerbaijani rug with red, white, and blue geometric designs worth 6500 from an ambassador from that country, silver platter engraved with major world cities from the Qatar's emir, valued at 6500 a full felt-mounted zebra skin, a painting and a sculpture worth four grand from the president of Tanzania, and the list goes on. But what's so interesting about this is I didn't realize this. Because of the ethics laws that are in place, United States leaders are not allowed to keep these gifts. It goes into storage, it gets cataloged, and when they are out of office, the only way that they can get them is to purchase them back from the United States. Now, two people have done that. Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton purchased a black two-strand pearl necklace with gemstones for $970, and Teresa Hines Carey, wife of Secretary of State John Kerry, also purchased a silver and coral jewelry set presented to her by the President of Yemen for $425. Interesting stuff, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.